Hello everyone, welcome to the second video of changing the modes on the Futaba 7C transmitter. Now the next stage is remove the battery and the screws holding the back cover in. As you can see, I've already done this. Now the back cover does just lift off, but when doing anything, be careful doing it. There's the power lines, pins just here come straight through and they're easily bent. We don't want that. Now what we're paying attention to is this here is the ratchet mechanism and I will not bother removing it, it just simply unscrews, rotate it around 180 degrees and it slots and screws into this part here. As you can see there's a corresponding ratchet and make sure you put plenty of grease on this otherwise it will just wear straight out and stop functioning. Now the particular parts we are interested in for this video are we have a spring tensioner here, but we also have them here and here. We are interested in particularly this one here, which on this is actually up in this top corner. Now, first step is to remove the spring, hence the hemostats, as it is rather fidgety. Spring is right here. I'm sure if you can see that, sorry. And that lifts off and then down and out. And it? there it is. There's our spring. So we'll just put that to the side. Now, this next stage gets a little fidgety as well. There is a small rocker arm just up in here. So I'll try to get that out. And it lifts and pulls out and rocks out like that. There it is there. Now to put it back on the other side we simply rotate it around 180 degrees and slot it in. Try not to do the hemostats up too tight. This is soft plastic and it will buckle. And we don't want that. Yet again these are quite fidgety to get in, especially when you've only got one hand. So just swap hands here, sorry. Now. There it is. And that just slots in there. I'm not sure if you caught that. Right. In the second stage, this here is the tensioner that simply lifts out and you again rotate it 180 degrees and it slots into the other side here. And just pushes into place like that. Now the spring, it again is still very fidgety and this we will turn it up so we get a bit of view. On the lower side down here we have one hook and the other one goes up onto the tensioner. So we take the hemostats and attempt to pick up the spring like so and I'll just drop it. Sorry guys. Alright. 